Yas, hey, Yas, 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 Wiz, hey, Chucks, with my in the studio. <laughs> Just cause, <laughs> just cause, cause, just, you know, just cause we're just high cause, high. it's all good. We're summer with it today. Hey man, it's a, it's a good day. It's Costco, Costco. We got some, we got some. I got a new computer to play with in here. Right, we do. So we got some new technology. I got here. some new toys wow. here, so yeah. We gonna have hard to pack together. We ain't got to do it, cause we ain't trying to call, we ain't trying to call. 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 We Right now that uh, yeah, I'm getting me. What's the goggles on? I'm going to get my junkie. You know, I'm going to get my junkie. I'm going to get my junkie. That's silly. You guys remember that. I know you do. Yeah. It's going to get my junkie. It's really cool now, guys. All right. Back to what we was talking about now. We got a phone call. Some things going on in the world today that we uh that shocked us up. And uh, we also got uh, you know, we got some bangers for y'all. You know, you know the bangers, they always gonna be here. Nice and old school for the nurse for the first break. Yeah, mom's old music ready for it. And we also um, we do. We got um some so a controversial topic that we had going on in the room. There you go again. <laughs> Take a ready spot, man. You know that's what I'm saying. Ain't no, ain't no problem. Ready to stay. <laughs> Ready to uh, get the mic from you, like, no, I'll do it. Nah, man. Well, we got some, he got the clipboard for you, man. You see, he said no, but he's going to start doing it. You know? <laughs> it's we, um, no. Avery's going to have to explain a little, a little detail because everybody was all on my back on the way back from Cleveland. I'll explain you know what I'm saying? This weekend. Yeah, we can do that. We'll get into that. Uh, we'll get into it a little it. later on, but um, just be ready. Be ready to call in on the topic. Y'all should have the number right now. We're going to repeat it's it right later on for you. I mean, it's a real, it's a real easy you know, topic. It's a, Yes or no, joint, but you know, it is. It's you know how we do. We love yeah, the stretch, so it, it goes. Dig in different you angles. Know how it go. I mean, you know how I'm going to say this, though. Right. We can't deal with juice from on the same side on this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, where I ain't looking to Yeah, I ain't looking to do it. Hey, 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 where am I? Yeah, we'll figure it out. Hey, we got to inform Janessa, too, so we'll let her know when we get to the break. Or she could just get it, get she, hit when everyone else gets hit. I think she should get hit when everybody else gets hit. So That'd be a surprise. So she just have her opinion right there and there. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna I want to have her opinion right there and there. I don't want her to think about it. I want to just huh? yes or no. Hmm. All right, so uh, well, we're about to go ahead and just drop some bangers for y'all real quick before we get into this first time. Sign, sign us out. Somebody sign us out. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Janessa's just not doing anything. There's going to be Joe. We'll be right back. Oh, Randy, I grabbed the table. Wednesday's gonna be a great show. Oh my goodness, <laughs> man! What? He's out of control. I don't know what he's talking about, man. <laughs> but uh, he's a different guy. Yeah, he is. But uh, what we need to get into right now is uh, in the current events. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, what's yeah. going on? Today is the current event, man. Well, yeah, he's the current. I got event, one man. current event. Uh, what's going on? But you have all the, you always got a current event for us. I do. I usually hand like to talk about this thing, but uh, all right, so uh. You know, uh, Avery Mom brought to Avery's attention that there was a, a shooter in Panama City. <laughs> not Panama City. City. Not oh, Panama. no, not where everybody, not where we were just at a couple weeks ago. No, not that place. The King's spot. So, so, yeah, so, so there was a shooter in Panama City. You know, I got to looking up all the details to it. And I found out that some some guy, uh, this guy is from, like, Alabama. He, um, he shot, like, seven people. Not one, not two. He shot seven people. Like he was really on like a rampage. Like, Hillary, man. He yeah, you know what I'm saying. Why was he drunk? No. Who knows what he was yeah. under? What I'm saying was he just opened up fire. This, this guy, he shot seven people with a 40 caliber pistol. He must have been from Cleveland. Just saw it for no reason. No, this guy was from Alabama, and apparently he, he shot. 
Uh, well, as far as I know, five of the people were from Alabama that he shot. I don't know if, they, if he knew them or not. Like, he was, it was like he shot, like, three females. Like, actually, hold on, I, I really got to do this. Really, really, you got it. I, I'm alright. He, 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 he playing like he ain't got the stats right in front of him. <laughs> yeah, he I got do. the article right there. Alright, let me just get into it. Because, I mean, this dude shot, he shot seven people. It's crazy when you think about it, though, man. Because, like, that, <laughs> that scene down there, like, that's, if somebody else like, You're there, trying to have fun, and yeah. then. Your I, life ends right that's there. That's what I'm saying. Like, somebody actually came down there on some trash to just, you know, just go and Somebody, like, somebody people, yeah, it, it would. And that's, that's crazy, crazy to think like, about, though. Yeah, it's crazy to think about. Imagine if he opened up and started dumping on the beach, on the one beach that's like Spinnaker's. No, but I, I, I feel like this was a target hit. You know what I'm saying? He shot, it was mostly females. Like, it was, he was shooting girls. He got, he must have got his heart broke. Had to. He was yeah, girls like they said everybody was just dancing and then this he didn't get danced on he was salty and yeah. then this guy just he shot he shot so true he was tired of getting curved yeah so <laughs> three of the females went to I I them Alabama A and M three of the females went to Alabama A and M and they uh and they were shot there was one girl who was shot in the head once she's uh in critical condition there's three in critical condition one of the females was released oh my god. Uh, Three of them are, you know, are in all okay condition. No, there was one guy who got shot. One guy got shot. So this man passed away. Nobody, died. nobody died. So this man, yet. this man was shooting and kill. He, I, I guess so. Because one of the girls got shot in the head. One of the No protection. This out there, pop top. Yeah, yeah. One girl got shot in the head. One of them got shot in the neck. And um. Human ass. Oh my god. One, yeah. One girl got shot in the neck. Uh, one got shot in the shoulder. I mean, actually, the girl got shot in her neck, got shot in her shoulder, too. One girl got shot in her thigh and in her back twice. Um, so he was really, I don't know, if what he, he wasn't aiming at anything. He was just, just shooting, shooting. The shoe. shooting the shoe. He was shooting, like, at whatever he could I, get. I wonder what that pain feels like. Have you ever wondered that? No. I mean, it's not something shot. It's not something yeah. people want to find out. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm saying, but, like... I've like got my back thrown out, you I know. Mean, like, no, I, like, I, I, what does it compare to like childbirth? Yeah, no, you know, I know, I mean? I know like, people got got shot bad. before. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, yeah, it's, it's not something that feels good. I can tell you that. It hurts. Okay, it hurts. I guess it hurts. It hurts. It burns. It hurts. It burns a lot. What is, What is the degree? I guess to giving I just, birth. Heard, I heard that. I heard that it just burns a lot. It, it burns. Yeah. Crazy. It's all, mm. all I heard. You want to have everybody dupes calling in and tell them how childbirth was? That what you want to do? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you want to know how to do it? Kind of. But uh, they cut my mom's over, man. Anyways, the guy who did it, he got caught. <laughs> Chop it over. He got caught, <laughs> which is a good thing. And he's, uh, I guess he was out on, on bond from Alabama and some stuff he did back he's there. He's already in trouble. He's <laughs> already in trouble. He's, he's a savage. He's reckless, man. Yeah, he was with uh, two other guys, but they weren't shooting, apparently. He was the only shooter. But they were also had a past history they talked about with uh, in Alabama, and um, I'm I'm, I'm going to suggest I well I feel like it, <laughs> like he knew these people or he might have known them or like because they were it's like a coincidence that but you're assuming I'm assuming because out of the seven people they showed the location of where five of them lived three of them went to Alabama A uh, and M and two other people lived in Mobile Alabama so it's five people <laughs> that who, who they showed the location Alabama. lived in Alabama with this guy. And uh, the other two, they didn't tell the location of. They just saw how many, like where they were shot at, or how many times. But um, it's crazy, man. When we when we were down there, nobody was on trash. Like everybody, everybody was like a, everybody everybody was happy. Time. It, it was a good everybody time. Was like it doesn't matter. But it, it goes to show people. It doesn't matter. Like people are going to no matter where you at. Yeah, wherever you are, you can be. I mean, I just seen it this weekend, man. They had a Cleveland IX Center. I in, in Cleveland, they had this thing called the IX Center. What's the IX? No. No. I IX Center guys, but no. But you, like I said, you know about the IX. You talking about you talking about like you talking about like the hour restrictions on it? No, bro, not even that. Just people full out. Work everybody working in that joint, man. Everybody thirsty to fight Go in that joint and pay twenty. Oh, you talking about you talking about period. IX period. Yeah, man. You gotta be ready for action all the time. Yeah, man. It's like a carnival. You out here chilling in the family environment, you out there fighting over some Trash no, man. No, man. Like me and the carnival behind the Ferris wheel. Me and the carnival behind the Ferris wheel. No, man. My little sister. $20 to fight you. My little sister was tripping, bro, because she was all telling me, like, they got, like, hour restrictions now. It's not even on the weekends no more. It's just strictly during the week. Okay. That's it. What's the IH? Yes. Oh, it's not. It was not even open late no more. It's like. What she say to him? Like, like, yeah, it used to be open like to what? She said maybe about like eleven, twelve, yeah. something like that. She said, yeah, it, was, it used to be open late. But she, she said it's probably. She, I think she said like nine hours or something like. Oh, yeah. 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 
Yeah, because they said it was just, it's wow. been too many fights up there. It's been too violent. Yeah, people. I didn't realize it was in Cleveland. That's I remember, yeah. yeah. They used to have a, um, a little undercover. Like, the undercover dudes walking around, like, just like, they look like regular people, but then when the fights break out, they be grabbing dudes up on, be hemmed, be hemmed up on some, all right, you gotta go. Like, you never know, man. For real. All right. All that stuff's ridiculous. Like, uh, I, I looked at some of the police chief, what they were saying about the whole situation. He said, you know, they tried to take steps and getting, uh, getting, like, uh, things, like, to die down in Panama City. Like, because they know, like, it's a place where all the people time. come, yeah, you know what I'm saying, between February and March. There's a lot of things going on in there. And he said he, they, like, tried to take steps towards getting, a, you know, like, alcohol banned on the beach because when people are drunk and they have weapons, they just do things that they shouldn't. That's a help. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah. Or under any type of influence of drugs. And they tried to get that banned. Like, a lot of that stuff didn't go through. Like, people didn't ban alcohol on the beach or uh, things like that. But some things went were past. They didn't speak deeply into which what things were. But they said on the night of the shooting... That there was uh, also, there was seven other, you know, uh, like, weapon-related charges that happened. Like, like they found like this dude's four different, or something like that. I don't know about that, but they, they said they found, like, four different, like, they seized four different guns uh, th that day. So, you know, yeah. No, but when, no, but when we was down there, somebody got shot, like, five times, though. Wow. Damn, you got to tear stuff up. Yeah, somebody got shot, like, five times. Everybody was stepping down there having a great time all excited and just... Didn't care, but, you know. That's that. So, man, you got to be safe out here, man, wherever you at. It don't matter. People just don't care. You just got any sports to talk about? I guess we'll get into the topic heavily after another break, a quick break. You know, like, maybe, like, a song or two. I mean, we can slide them some sports right quick. So, and I know y'all be salty so out there when we talk about sports, but, I mean, you, you know, know what said, man. Y'all know this tournament going on right now. Yeah, the Final Sony Four. for what? I don't know. Sports is great. Everybody, they be so sorry. Yeah, y'all yeah. don't know how to some of these females. Why y'all talk cool. about sports? Why y'all doing this? Being like an athlete. athlete. I don't know. Hey, but I got Kentucky <laughs> winning it all. No, you don't. Honestly. No, you don't. They balling right now, man. No, you they got to take it all, man. What do you think, think about it, bro? I don't know, man. Wisconsin been balling so hard. They season man. won't mean anything if they don't win it. They like, all the W in the game this past weekend, too. That was a fluke dub. That was a bailout dub. But they still are Bella. undefeated. They, That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, hey, but I, undefeated, they undefeated season won't mean nothing if they don't win at all. Yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. That game, I was definitely rooting for Notre Dame. It was a bailout. Like, because Notre Dame was balling the whole game. Everybody rooting against them at this point. It was a too. real good game. Everybody said that yeah. Everybody said that call at the end and get a little freak, though. Should have been called. My mom was all over the refs, too. It just, dude. I think you're some. I'm going to just talk about this a fluke dub. It's My family's big Notre Dame fans. It's going to be all right, man. I got UK taking it, dog. But you don't talk about who playing who? You don't even know. You don't even know. All I don't know is, man, I want to talk about this, man. I want to talk about here. Wisconsin playing Kentucky. Michigan State. Hey, Michigan State playing Duke. Okay. I don't know, man. That's what I'm saying. I got Kentucky beat Wisconsin. But you still got Duke. You still got Michigan State. Duke, Duke and Kentucky would be a crazy game. You can't even say it with. It'd be out of control. Exactly. Oh, it is. But I'd rather see, like... I'd rather there. see like I'd rather see like Kentucky and Michigan State. Matter of fact, I wanted Louisville to go in there. Louisville, I wanted Louisville Terry? to be in there. Yeah, yeah you want you want Terry to be in there. Exactly. Right. We was all rooting for the Cleveland boy. I don't know, man. I, I would rather see like I don't want to see I don't want to see Kentucky in there because it's either like their games are, like I don't know their games are either to me has been like dominate pure just domination. I can't even say dominate or not because it's just been straight domination. But I'd rather see, well, as of lately, they've been slacking. So it really don't matter to me now because they've been slacking. So I know they're going to have a hard game with, against Wisconsin because Wisconsin been dominating this whole tournament, too. Wisconsin played down to the T with everything. They don't play around. And they really oh, okay, Randy, that's fine. You can move. Just trying to move back, man. Everybody's a wild sight. Well, I mean, wow. Michigan, wow. you or, just need to calm down. Or Michigan State, too. I'd rather, you know, like Kentucky, Michigan State. That'd be good. That would Kentucky be good. Duke, that'd be good. And you start my game. Or Michigan State, Wisconsin. That'd be good. I don't want to see that. No, hey, no, we're going to watch them. Hey. What, what is going on? Everybody's out of play. What are you doing over here? I'm trying to find a song. He all grabbed the DJ. I wanted to hear a song. Randy grabbing the Randy in the DJ booth? No, no right, I was just saying, man, I wanted to hear something real quick. DJ Iceman? It's been a minute, man. First DJ show. Ice DJ Iceman. Ice 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 but since you're talking about sports, because. Juice is playing around. He's, he's on ESPN. He does. You need to go to the headline. Yeah, You'll see all the information. The Browns uh, GM got suspended for four games. I did. Uh, I, did. I, did. I, did. I saw it. Text that messaging. And, yeah. they find, and, and they find a franchise $250,000. Which is nothing. Um, I mean. 
No, bro. Uh, the father's got it worse. The father's got a three hundred fifty thousand for recorded audio of the fans like screaming, yelling. Yeah. Oh yeah, they, had, they lost. They got like they lost like five hundred thousand dollars. They lost. And they lost draft round, picks. And they lost yeah. draft picks. That's terrible. And the GM got suspended. And this Falcon penalty. There you go. Yeah, there you go right there. All right, you can just go to the headlines. Yeah, he's calling you. Go let him in. You go let him in. In but, the back. But yeah, that wow, that happened. We had a lot of wild <laughs> signings. Um, um, my friend is a baby mom. I have a lot of oh, wild wait, signings. He has, a, he has a kid with one of my friends. Who? Apparently, Demarius Thomas. Demarius Thomas. Oh, the Broncos has a kid with one of Janessa's friends. Demarius Thomas just got the franchise tag with the Broncos. I'm pretty sure she's living life right now. She's she was a uh, she was a stripper in Atlanta for a while. So. Got so Got him. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Fia, she's so cute. She's we definitely just, a little We just dragging along right now. So, I'm going to go to break. I'm going to play two songs. We'll be back to get to this topic. Because we'll be everybody's all playing around. Everybody's all looking for my show. I don't know what's going on. Um, so, <laughs> so, I'll sign us off for a minute. Birds and bees. We'll be right back. Deuces. Uh, I'm adding him to Mike. Okay. Uh, so, you can do what he needs. So, now you know we, how were, we, were right. so we were on the way home. So, we were on the way home. Are you going to talk about this topic? Indeed right. I am. So, right. we, so we were on the way home, and we pulled up on the side of the road. We were to hop on 480, mm -hmm. and that's when Kendall, Randy, and I proceeded to look at this lady. They saw oh. the sign, mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. sign simply said, single mom, anything helps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, that's to the normal eye. See, then me and Kendall looked closer. She had on a bubble coat. She had blonde hair, blue eyes. Hair looked all combed up. Her hair looked like it was flat iron or whatever, you know, whatever you females do. It looked like it was. She had, had her shirt on. You, you was kind of her hair was full. It was full. Her hair was full. Yeah, yeah, and she had on her hundred boots. Are we reaching about the hundred boots? Nope. Are we, are we reaching about the hundred boots? Hundred boots? Like, yeah. Like, they call it the actual hunter. Oh, hunter. Oh, I thought you were saying hundred. Like, actual hunter boots. Hunter boots. Say you swear. What? Her boots, bro. It happened. I keep going. What are you? Janessa don't believe what he's saying right now. No, she's not. I, I'm so, not like saying it in shock. So then little. people were proceeding to give her money, and Randy did too. And me and Kendall proceeded to not give her money because we had our own. No, they proceeded to bash me. That's what they proceeded to yeah, do. Yeah, I saw that. We, I, we bashed them. So what? Okay. <laughs> it's not fair, right? <laughs> That's what you guys did in the week. I was yeah, driving I was, everybody was on my back. So the I was recording it. I was recording you give her money. That's mm -hmm. what I was doing. I wasn't really talking, but I now I will. Yeah, Avery really did that. Avery, yeah, I was on her a minute, though. You know, I didn't really get a chance to get on you about it because I was recording her, like, her visual. But, um, yeah, so Randy gave her money and stuff, and then, uh, and he had a, a nice reason as to why. Should you tell him the reason Wait, why tell you me. did? Yeah, tell him your reason. The reason that you told us. Don't give us a new reason. The reason that you told us right then and there. I remember my reason right then and there. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Oh, His God. reason was, hmm. it was Sunday. We were coming back to school from a uh, church. weekend. He said, yeah. I didn't go to church this morning, so I wanted to do something to help society or something like that. On the lines of that, I don't remember. No, he Did saw that. He saw that that was him helping society. That was doing your kind deed. He said that all this was there. Yeah, that's what he said. He justified it. I can respect we that. Was in the and everybody wanted a reason, a quick an explanation. I gave him a quick explanation. A B. I didn't go to church today. It was probably the, the exact words I said. A B. I didn't go to church today. You know what I'm saying? And he was all like, and he's got. Hold on, hold on. Before we get into all your everybody reasons as to why yes and why no. So, no, Kendall's a no, I'm a no, Janessa, Juice is a no. How do you are you, about are you, Janessa, are you a yes or no? We didn't even explain it. We didn't even, uh, I mean, we won't get around the room. We explained it. We, we explained it. It was, hey, we we around room do it was okay. a single mom so you want to take that had a sign that says anything helps, and we described her appearance. Would you give her money, yes or no? If she had the hunter boots on, like you I'm say. say let her form her opinion on no. because she don't really know. I wouldn't. That's like another girl wearing like Ugg boots or wearing uh, I don't know what okay, else. Well. But if it's like that, no. I do. I, I agree with you that like yes, like your mom didn't go do a, that stuff either. Like she found a way to do it. But um, in like, like for Randy, for thing. Randy's speak situation, on the whole, like huh? Speak on the whole situation. This is why you got the money? Just speak you on. You don't say all reasons why I asked to guess or why. Well, that's what I'm saying. If she's having hundred boots on, no, no, I'm not going to. But if she like literally not, I shouldn't say dressing like a scrub or anything. But like if she 
like doesn't have anything like that on, then yes, that probably would. But then again, that also comes to do I even have cash on me? Or as my grandparents used to do, they'd be like, I'm, I won't give you money, but I'll take you to the grocery store to get food, stuff like that. But like in Randy's situation, trying to give you guys a quick like explanation, like, oh, I didn't go to church. I mean, okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> but uh, if, like I said, Hunter Boots, no, I'm out. All right. All right, so uh, Vanessa was a he was, was a He was so excited to hop in there. He was so excited. <laughs> so, we're gonna right there. There. so we're going to go around the room, starting with Kendall. No, stop with you. You grab the mic, so start with you. As no, we're going to start with you, with you we, while you guys are on my back. And then we'll go to me. No. Because okay. I'm the wrong person here. Okay. So you guys go. Okay. Well, I'm going to start by saying I wasn't on your back, but let me uh, go ahead and get on your back. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, we were in the car. Nope. And I seen her, you know, I seen her appearance. The first thing I know is was her boots, and then I looked at the rest of her appearance because she didn't look like the the typical homeless person that I would see, you know, standing with the sign. Look but, but, yeah, she, she wasn't, wasn't she wasn't homeless. homeless. There are yeah, other other at least a hundred dollars. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna exactly. Man, yeah, you can't, yeah. I, I, you gotta take that back to me. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't say she was homeless. I, and you can't categorize her as a homeless person. Yeah, because not everyone's homeless. Can you talk? Can you What I said was she didn't look like the typical homeless person that I see. I never said she was homeless. So if everybody could just let me talk, that'd be fine. Okay, so <laughs> I said she didn't look like the typical homeless person that I usually see. So that's the first thing that like it hit my like my eyes. Like she's not homeless. Let me see what she's wearing. So I looked down. I seen her shoes, and the hunter boots came to me, and I was like, okay, she's wearing hunter boots. Wow. Okay. And then I looked up at her at her hair, which was like it was covered in a, and she had a hood on, so like you couldn't really see she had blonde hair, and she had a sign that said, um, single you know, mom. single mom, anything helps. So while the, the car next to us was giving her money and Randy was uh rolling his window down to give her money, I started to roll mine down and, and I, she started walking over to her. So I kind of rolled my window back up because I wasn't giving her any money. I just wanted to record her because wow. it was like the first time I've ever like first time I've ever seen something like that. Like not a homeless person begging for money on the side of the street. So so I rolled my window back up so she didn't get the wrong impression. And Randy came up. Uh, Randy gave her I'm not sure I think it was a dollar out the front uh front front window. And uh, and then I heard her talking to the car next to her. She said, uh, you know, I got two boys, a two-year-old and a one-year-old, and and I just like anything can help. No, no, you 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 didn't say the best part. And yeah, yeah. Yo, let me pause real quick. And yeah. All right. So you said um, and yeah. you were recording. You rolled your fucking you 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 rolled your window down, but you didn't roll it down for the reason that I did. Yeah. Why did you record it? What, was it humorous? I'm trying to figure out what was the reason of recording. You never seen that. nothing like it. It was something miraculous. Nothing like this ever happened. And was it, was it humorous? I was going you give her the money. For what reason? Because I, I feel like she didn't deserve the money that she was asking for. Protect yourself. And, and you, hold on. I know what you're saying, though. Like, why is he, why was he, on hold on, hold on. Before, before you start getting over, over, before you start getting over, everybody's back. Ask him the reasons as to why he didn't give her money. Can we, can we actually get back to our actual You said did not give her money? Else? Yeah, why did you give her any money? What was your reason as to not give her any money? Saw the hard boots up top, and he was over. That was the first thing that I seen, and her appearance wasn't homeless. So I feel like she didn't need my money. That's okay. where I disagree, though. Then, excuse me. Okay, that's fine. That's mm -hmm. fine. Everybody has their own opinion. Man. I got to get on here, buddy. I got to get too. I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can use a couple dollars. So, you know what I'm saying? Well, I got to take care of my own. I can't be feeding everybody else. So that's another reason why I didn't give her my money. And uh, then on top of that, <laughs> I, you know, I look at her and, you know what I'm saying, I seen her, her, you know, begging on the side of the street. And it just, you know what I'm saying, it made me feel like, you know what I'm saying, like she could be like trying to do better. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of different things you could be doing besides spending your Sundays begging for money. You know what I'm saying? So she could be trying to put in a job. She was Caucasian, by the way. Didn't tell y'all that. What is that? She mean? was Caucasian. A young Caucasian. I looked that off for a reason. I looked that off for a reason. Yeah, I was going to say, what does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah, of, course, of course, it doesn't mean anything in this world. I'm asking, bro. For a reason. I'm asking. You don't feel like that Caucasian lady could have got a job faster than, than, than me? You don't feel like she could have got into the corporate yeah. business? No, but this is what I'm saying. I'm I'm a, a you guys are saying like, oh yeah, man, she had a hundred boots. She had blonde hair and blue eyes. Naked. Like, what is that saying, bro? Like, she had good hair because she had blonde hair. No, fam, and what are we saying? That's what you're trying to say, yeah, bitch. It doesn't give a good. So like, like, she has like, good hair. She got like, the fact that she white. Hold on, hold on. So you, you mm -hmm. first of all, like, what are we talking first about? First of all, I'm about to cut your mic down because you're yelling around and we're not about to. My mic flawed anywhere. The question, no, that's not fair. That's a, that's a new mic. So what I said was, is we gonna ask everybody the reasons as to why to give her the money or That's not. Okay. That's all I said. Yeah, so stop telling everybody over. Stop getting all excited. And I'm telling them Keep my going. reasons about. Yeah, he you trying to tell them how you wrong. Just watch for a second. It's your money. You can do what you want to do. Right. 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 So, so, and again, she was also Caucasian. You know what I'm saying? So, and she was like young. Like she looked like she could have been about thirty. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, 
I'm like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? It's just not with the typical. You usually see older, you know what I'm saying? Older homeless people on, like, you don't usually see a young 30-year-old woman on the side talking about she has two kids and hundred boots. It's just not the typical person you would see on the side of the street begging for money. You know what I'm saying? So, so then she, once she said the age of her kids, I got a two, I got a two year old and a one year old. Then it really hit me like, hold on, and yeah, and yeah. She said I have a two year old and a one year old. We pulled up, yeah, yeah. We ain't gonna hear. No, I, we. Oh, heard she said and yeah, and she stopped, and then we heard her say that. Yeah, and then we, and then she stopped, and that was in the conversation. So what, what does that in t- like? What does that mean for you? I'll say it. I mean, but like, what does that? And yeah, but when I, I thought, I thought the first thing I thought to myself was when she said I have a, a two year old and a one year old. I, I, my first thought was like, you know, I wonder where her her uh, baby father is. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I, like, is he not helping? Is he not in the picture? That's something I thought about. You know what I'm saying? I you should have asked. We were pulling should off. Ask. We were pulling off. I, I had to pull over. I told him to be this earlier. Uh, okay. Well, that's yes, a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's okay. Can, can everybody let your girl finish? You finish me? Take you know what I'm saying? I didn't. I don't know why he's making so what you say about it in the back. Well, well, actually, you know, you I have to tell you all my reasoning. Yeah. When I tell everybody it's because you're all you and Janessa are on my back. All right, but you know I'm what I'm saying? Finish, I seen man. her. She looked. She was. Like I, I said she was thirty Caucasian. She looked young. She was. She had actually a pretty face. So you know what I'm saying? It's not something I'm used to seeing. So I was like, you know, I feel like where's her baby father at? Her child. Her children aren't aren't five and six. And the, the you know the father had time to get out of there and leave or well, the, the equation or something like these, these are young kids. Like if you you know what I'm saying? If you sitting in this guy's house to lay down with them and he can't help you out, then. Then it's a problem. You shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be having sex if you don't have the money to, to afford what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's how I feel. Like she didn't deserve my money, basically. He's not. That's what. That's how I felt about it. Hey, his his ears. He out here back, back blowing smoke out his ears, man. He's so hyped. He ready for the mic to get back around him. Man. That's fine. It's Avery's turn. Yeah, Avery literally has like a piece right now. now. Yeah, he's so. <laughs> sick. Anyway. Oh. Hey, that makes you <laughs> grab the mic like crazy. I'll take it. Oh, quick, 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 quick. So I do Kendall. I didn't give her the money. I received a call on my phone, and I reached for my phone, and I went to Snapchat, and I recorded Randy being a fool, giving her that money. Being a fool. In my opinion. <laughs> Is that not my opinion? It's your opinion, but remember, you said earlier in the room, you did say he was wrong, so you can't call him wrong for saying that. I mean, you I got said, opinion. I said my opinion. He can do whatever he wants with his money. That's why I said he's not wrong. Right. But you called me a fool. Make up your mind. Okay. Then you're... I was about to cuss. Then you're a fool. Because, <laughs> because of the reason... Because pertains to the reason... Because, because pertains to... Ooh, he can feel like you're a fool, man. Hey, come on, bro. Okay, I, I just want to see. I just want to wait till Randy's. No, okay. We're gonna let him. We so gonna let him. Even you're not the other. So you're the person. Because okay, humans. Period. It takes them about five seconds to decide what they want to decide about you. So whether that means you going into an interview and decide whether they can potentially hire for the job or not, whether the female decides whether she wants to have sex with you or not, or male too. It's first of all because. A male been decided, or else he wouldn't have approached you in the first place. So, <laughs> so therefore, I mean, it could be, but therefore, I decided whether I want to give her my money or not by looking at her and said she had on a bubble coat and looked down and saw she had on some hunter boots. While Kendall was talking, we looked up hunter boot prices and we were being realistic about it, and hunter boots are about $150. Average. Average. I looked it up. BTW. There was also a shoe carnival this weekend where she took those hunter boots that she was wearing and could have traded them to somebody else. Or not even trade, could have sold them to somebody else and got a very good profit on it. From what Kendall has told me. So my That's second point was you anything. Oh. So my second point was I have been down to the welfare office. I've seen how easy it is to get put on welfare. I've seen what welfare does for you. So there's no excuse for her as to why she can't go up there and get put on welfare. Regardless if she is or not. I've seen I've seen what Section Eight does. I know from experience, cause I just I just know things, and it is what it is. Good now job. my third thing is down. now my third thing is how is it? She's about to get me to get the preaching in here about how I know why. Hey, hey, does she have a job? Like, just tell her, just tell her I know, man. Just tell her I know. Job. Just tell her I just know what I'm talking she about. Has a job. Actually, no. At the time, she did not. Sorry. Ooh, six months. Everybody's gonna tell oh, her. I just, I just. That's fine. Okay, I agree. Keep going. That's why. I was... So, <laughs> after that, I proceeded to sit here and think. Okay. Now, where she's at? Where Where is this lady located at right now? Okay. We. She was getting on forty. So she had three lanes. She had one lane going across Northfield, one lane going back down Northfield, another lane going down Aurora Road. 
she had three lanes to get money from from people regardless if they felt like to give it to them or not. There were stoplights at all of them. So my thought is when Randy gave her that dollar or anything helps, that dollar could have amounted to her getting her having a total of three hundred and five dollars. Or regardless of what she has, she could be doing whatever. And it says anything helps, so Okay, so everybody really wants to ask her, you know, like, so what's your story? Okay, you say you're a single mom, anything helps, so what's your story? So then I proceed to hear her say, I got a two-year-old and one-year-old, and yeah, that's the end of your story? Is that is that enough for you to get my money? I mean, and then Randy said earlier, it's not about interrogation. So there, then therefore I asked, Randy, can I have $50 to pay my phone bill? If it wasn't, for, it wasn't enough for interrogation, I'm a person in need. Can I have the $50 or not? Yes or no? But apparently if I have a sign and I say, I'm a single father and anything helps, then I'm gonna get whatever I want in this world. Yeah, I'm, wow. gonna, get, I'm gonna get whatever I want in this world. You're the biggest reacher of I, all time. I know. No, I'm not. I'm not the biggest reacher because my mom was a single mom and she didn't ask anybody. For That's that. fine. That's your mother. She's right. a whole different person. She she didn't she didn't live the life that she did. My mom lived. My mom had a great life. My mom had a great life. He talking about your mom? I know. I know what he's talking about. You, but still, we are talking about first appearances as to why we gave why we was gonna give her a dollar or not. You don't know what she been through. You don't know what she's going through right now. She could have went home to a nice rich husband and had a great dinner. You don't know that. And we don't know if she went to a shelter and, home either. We don't know that either. That's why, in my opinion, instead of giving money, that's when you say, Randy, and in their defense, Randy, you say, I, I can't give you any money, but I can take you to the grocery it. store instead. Or something along that line. Yeah, I can you get, I can get you. Right, I'll go get, get happy meals. Here. I'll get, go get happy meals, whatever, da, da, da. Call today. That's why I personally don't handle. But not even, but not even, not to but not even just my mother. I've seen another single mother do it personally, where I walked her through all the steps until I had to take over myself. But still, I've seen her do all the steps. She was a single mother. Still, it never equated to her coming down to begging. But Randy's point earlier was was the fact that it takes a whole lot to beg. It does. And so it therefore, a, okay, I gave him that. I gave him that. I said, yeah, okay, it takes a lot. It takes a lot to beg. I gave him that. I gave him that. So if that's a reason you're giving her money, then I'll take that. Well, then everything else just so you would take that as reason yeah. over a church, basically. Didn't add up. Yeah, everything now, else mom, didn't I add up. Just say a church to get them her, her as a whole didn't add up. The whole story didn't add up with her. But if that's what if that's the reason why Randy would give her money, there's a lot of stuff she could have been doing. Like I like I presented the option of her stripper, and Randy said he'd rather have her beg for money. Yeah, I would. Then take that. That's, uh, not, that's, uh, all, that's, that that's all. That's all. That's all. I can't strip. Like, but when it comes down to you, but when it comes down to you, I'm uncomfortable with my body, so I might have to go. Nobody, go to everybody, everybody wants to but strip. She, but what's she? But what's she bad looking? Nobody cares. It's not about that's 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 a bad. Asking the question. It's ugly strippers out here. It doesn't matter. Okay. 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 Pregnant ones too. Okay. Good looking ones, ugly ones. Regardless, if she's going to sit out here and beg, that means that she has no other choices, right? So you don't have a lot of time to sit up here and be proud about what you want to do because you still got to provide for your kids. She wants you to tell them. Yeah, I know. No one's ever been proud of that. Please don't let me get this mic. Because you can serve them. Please, So as long as you got one of them, you got one of these strippers and working at McDonald's, you still need a paycheck to go. I got one of these strippers and I get a mic to wear it and you have to go at it. No, I'm not going at it because what I just said was very logical. All right, that's cool. But can I have another chance to speak? What would you do whatever you got to do to provide for Lake and Bill? I'm talking. I don't even have to have my mom call here. Randy's dad and his mom say the same thing. You would do whatever you gotta do, regardless of what it comes down to stripping or working at McDonald's or doing whatever you gotta do. Before you before you go to bed, you're gonna exhort every option. Right, Are you not? Jumping around, man. Let me just hurry up and get my piece out. Go ahead, man. When he gets the roof. But well, alright, man. So Look, back. Randy Mathis gave up his money to her. She's trying to know. He drops it right now. Alright, back to the original question. What, I, what have I? Alright, back to the original, the original question. Of what I have gave my money to her. I said no because of you know if I'm if I'm in my car you know I'm I'm driving I'm at a red light or whatever and I see you coming like no that's just not how I do things you know what I'm saying like okay yeah I'm not gonna sit here and lie like yeah I've given money to homeless people before or, you know people in need that's been outside but in order for me to do that I'm gonna have to you gonna have to be standing outside the store or you gonna have to be on the corner while I'm walking past you so I can like I, we can actually have a conversation I can look in your eyes you know we face to face on some like you know we right here so, so that's the only way I'm gonna give you money. I'm not gonna give you money like out the window of my whip. Like, nah, that's not how I do it. You know, I gotta walk up. You know, I gotta see what you're about. I gotta look at your, like, you know, stand up, look at your face. I swear. Right. So I'm inside, and so I know, you know, or whether you know, or or we can be right by the store. You know, we can go like, you know, okay, I, or I do the food thing. You know, what I'm saying I get you something to eat or whatever. You know, I mean that's 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 all my decision to make. But I mean, yeah, in terms of that, no, I wouldn't have gave it gave it to her out of my car. You know, that's that's not how I do things. All right, I got a question for you. Uh, based off the appearance that we explained to you. 
if she walked past you and asked you for a dollar and said that you know she needed a couple of dollars for her and her uh, two children and yeah now go okay yeah, yeah going back to your, her story i would have had to know more than just i got two kids and yeah like i need like that's what i'm saying like we actually gonna have to sit here and talk and you gonna have to tell me something like what if you're in a rush you like i mean I'm sorry. Well, I mean, if she's in a rush, I mean, I'm not. No, like, you if I'm in a rush, then she's not. Probably not. She's not gonna get my money. But I'm saying, like, you know, because I ain't got time to sit there and talk to her. But if I, if I want, if I really, you know, was considering it, then yeah, I'm gonna get, like, if I'm gonna pull this money out of my pocket and give it to you, I gotta know that you're not gonna go and you're not going, you're not just sticking this in your pocket and you know calling the day and going back home to your house and all that. Or you're not being cynical with it and, you know, going to buy crack. You know what I'm saying? Now, how do you feel about people who are actually honest? Like, like, uh, I need beer money. Anything will help. No, I can't. I can't. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't support that? You, yeah, you're not going to get it from me. Cause you, yeah. yeah, have you seen some like that? Like, no, I have people like, we're not going to get you money from me. I'm not going to get People walk up to me at the gas stations all the time. I'll say, hey, bro, I'm just trying to buy some cigarettes, bro. I can't. No, I'm not I'm trying to buy mine. I'm not going to give you that. I need beer and weed money. Right. Anything will help. Yeah. At the end of the day, man, it's your money. It's your choice, man. I'm not going to help you with that. I'm not going to tell you wrong because it's your money. It's your choice. That, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's my money, so I'm not going to help you buy no cigarettes. But regardless, like I said, that's not helping you. There's going to be a fresh show with you. Her juice part with you. Her Janessa with you. Her mom with you. Her Kendall with you. Let me slide to my ice, man. Yeah, man. Everybody been on my back for so long. He wrote up. Well, he got a page full of points. Right, 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 over right, there, man. He can have a page. Right, he got a page full of points. It don't matter if it's a book. Yeah, every day on my table. I was about to be on my table, bro. <laughs> now, I was about to. I'm gonna start it off with, man. She can't help the fact that she is an attractive white woman. You guys are all on her back talking about some. Oh man, she's white and she oh, has brown wow. hair and blue eyes and yes, it just doesn't add up. No, 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 no. I'm like, bro, I'm like, Randy, like, how you talking to us? I was saying, like, Randy, we all gonna be quiet and let, and let, listen to what you say. So go ahead, speak. Uh, I'm gonna let you go and feel like that. Not being a weapon. Go ahead. Go ahead. She can't help the fact that she's an attractive white woman. She has oh, she has blonde hair, blue eyes, and this isn't a typical uh, person I see begging on the street. So she shouldn't get my change, or she shouldn't get whatever I, she um, is asking for. Whatever I'm willing to give her, I'm not willing to give her. So she's not going to get anything. All right. So like, I don't get, I don't feel like that's a valid point. Her being an attractive white woman, and or, that's a reason for her to strip as well, just because she's attractive. Yeah, no, not everybody wants to do that. Not everybody wants to do that at all. There you go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, how do you know? You guys are just assuming. How do you know she isn't trying? How do you know she isn't in? Man, you know. We're not taking calls. Oh, no, no. It might be mine. It might be mine. I don't know. Yeah. 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 I uh, uh, I want you to give us your opinion about this whole situation. Uh, oh, okay. This is Kendall's mom. Huh? We know your name is Kendall. <laughs> <laughs> I just found that out. What's up? Uh, this is Kendall's mom, and I just wanted to say something Kendall. real quick about this subject. Okay, go ahead. Um, there's really no right or wrong. Uh, answer here or reasoning I, I, I you know it depends on you uh, you know the, the person and how you feel because there are a lot of people out here that like to that, that want to just buy beer weed whatever sugar it, it's a judgment call you know um, and I don't know I, that's all I have to say about it thanks mom we appreciate it Thanks for calling in. Well, thanks for calling in, Mom, and saying what's up. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Bye. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. What a nice lady. Well, her name is Kendall. 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 Yeah, Kendall. Kendall. Yeah, 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 Y'all know that's crazy. Oh my gosh. Alright, Randy, finish what you were saying, bruh. Yeah, man. Alright, so my thing was, how do you know she isn't trying? You guys talked about the world for offices and how it, how easy it is to get up in there. And what if she was doing that? What if she was exhorting all the options? Maybe she had a job. She never said that on her on her paper date. She was broke. She didn't have a job or, any, or that she didn't have it. Not, not that she wasn't broke. 
or that she was jobless or anything like that. All she said was single mom, anything helps. Look, yo, speak up. All she said was single mom, anything helps. Speak up. So, and it's another thing, man. You guys are going strictly based off appearance. What if those hundred boots were passed down? This is a point that Judah Juice brought up in the room earlier. You know what I mean? Avery was like, oh man, she should have sold those boots. Nobody's thinking about flipping nothing. When you're down to you down to your bottom dollar, you have nothing left. You're not thinking about trying to, you know what I'm saying, make the oh, let me let me think about how I could flip this into a, a money opportunity. Excuse me, let me I want to say this is not a lot, bro. What are you gonna say to? We said we said you can let him finish it. Let him finish it. No, you don't you don't. Just know, stay out of it. My mom was also a single mom who's had with two children, and I've seen her pawn some of her rings. To make sure that me and Kyle still had lights and stuff on them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Her rings off her fingers. You know what I'm saying? Her necklaces to make sure that we was all right. You know what I'm saying? And then she would come back to get them years later or whatever. She would get the money to get to buy it again. I don't know. That's but rings, she would pawn them. And like, I feel like that's easier to do than like boots. Like boots, you can't take that to. It's mid, you can't you take that to pay a closet. Man. They're gonna give you ten bucks for that. No, but they have. But they have. But they have stores that are specifically. For high end shoes, where you can go ahead and sell them and trade them. Right. What you want to do? Now, 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 and you still got to provide, you got to provide for your kids. Gifts don't matter. You gonna do what you gotta do to put to put food in their mouths. So at this point, so our assumption is that she's out here begging, so therefore she's at her wit's end. Let me finish. Right? And just, just, and everybody, everybody asks me that. That's all I'm saying. She's out here begging. Is she, not, is she at her wit's end or not? Yeah. All right. So, so, so if she's sitting up here and she's at her wit's end, why are you sitting there with $150 boots on? We can easily go flip those. And I'm, when I say easy, my new Carlos just did it. He flipped his grapes. Right there and then. Flipped them. I can, I can tell you the address of the store and everything. Well, that's what y'all want. Put your label stitched on. No, oh, like, I, 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 I don't do stuff like that. Those, those are the fashion people, gurus people. over there, so they probably looked at that. But no, that's not me. <laughs> so let me finish my statement. You don't know her story, and me, neither, neither of you guys asked to care. You guys didn't say some, hey man, you guys just heard the side conversation that was going on in the car next to us about her two children. And that's just fine. But I went based off of the appearances that I seen and just how I felt about it off top. You guys went strictly off appearances, and you guys are saying, "Well, oh man, she just has two kids. That's all we. That's all she said." And yeah, if you guys wanted to know more, I didn't even inquire. Like the person in the next car did to us, did to us. Look, man, to be totally honest, you guys don't, you don't care. That's why. To be totally honest, you talking about pulling on you, but I don't care. You gotta hop with them. I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust you with my life to go whip us around and go around because you can't drive. <laughs> if you want to be totally honest, right, now we talking about nonsense. No, no I'm saying that you guys just didn't care. It didn't matter. We didn't. We didn't matter to you. say that. We didn't care enough. You didn't care. It didn't matter. We tell you about the school, man. I didn't sit here and just you know, know, ask this woman questions on the side of the road. You know, about the school, man. We don't worry about her. Let's be real about it. Like, what if you're not around? You're you're around. You're you're around. You talk. Give it a quiet. You're in a rush. You're going. Talking. Go ahead right now. And you agree with me? Did you care enough? Because you didn't. Why didn't you ask her? You didn't care enough. Why didn't you ask her? Borrow your money. You didn't care enough because I saw what's going to move. Why didn't you ask her? Saw what's going to move. I know she's not doing enough for her kids. So you want to be? You want to be? If you want to be totally honest, because we're not talking to me because you know I'm talking from experience. You really not. We talk about this parenting thing. If you want me to be telling me to put all my bills out there, I didn't need everything I had to do for Tyler. So you really ain't talking to me because I did okay. and got everything that's my what's in. So now you really saying that. Now you really, you really don't have to If you guys are like, well, if you're in touch with me, why do you have a hundred? If I was that bent out of shape about the hundred bucks, y'all should have just asked the woman on top. Hey man, I just not. I just know that you really not sure about that. I just know that you really not sure about that right now. I just know that you really not sure about that right now. I, 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 I didn't. I wasn't bent out of shape about him. I just looked at them and, and I saw and that. I made the decision that she had enough money for me oh, okay. to okay. not give her money. I, I don't know. And I that, bro. Oh, and the done deal is just ask questions. If you had a a question about the boots, ask a question. If you had a, per, uh, a question about he her comment it. about, oh, I have two kids, and yeah, it, no. ask more questions about it. Wait, if you're but the be, first thing you see is appearance. You gonna make your right, choice so, off of that. Right, I, you can, but why or you can ask, ask more questions. questions. What are you doing on the show now? Or you can ask more questions. Talking right? about stuff. I'm gonna ask her about personally. I look at the 100 boots and I, and I see, you know what I'm saying? When she has the kid, I, I mean, I decide I need help with me and my kids. I look at the 100 boots and I, I see a pair of shoes from Payless for both her kids and one for her. That's what I see when, when I see those 100 boots. It looked like a pair of shoes for everyone in her family. That's what it looked like to me. All right. And if you really talk, she came with the Walmart and got the same joint. I'm not here trying to debate about. I'm not here trying to debate about shoes, man. I'm saying everybody falls on hard times, man. Everybody, everybody being cynical, talking about some cheese. Oh, she's just 
using that or she's just using that to go to her rich husband later on down the road. She's probably not, lost her dinner right now. Is that what, what you said? Okay. That's what I said. Is that not what you said? But I'm not sitting up, funny, not flipping. But I'm not sitting up here being cynical. When it comes down to you being the gutter, you got to provide for your kids, you're going to do what you got to do. So when we sat up here and all we said was when we see her with those hunter boots on and she could have made a profit off of them to provide for her kids and have something with less stature, it really doesn't matter at the end of the day because it's not about you. It's about your kids. So if it's really about her kids and she's a single mom trying to, tell her, trying to get out here and do what she's going to do, any means necessary. Regardless, I don't, I don't even care what the boots even said, but the fact, I do care. Because what they said, she can go get and go make a good profit off of those. That's what I'm talking about. And they what, 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 no, I hear what you're saying because what you're talking about is when you're down the gutter, you, I heard you say, you want to put out my word, heard you say when you're down the gutter, you're not thinking about flipping anything. you talking, what? When you're down the gutter, you're thinking about anything necessary to make some money because you need it. What are you talking about? No, all right, no, I, I mean, okay, hey, I feel homeless, no, 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 I feel that. Like, homeless people, bro. I've been talking with homeless people, bro. Through a lot of ministries, man. Fuck oh, me, man. Excuse me, man. Same thing, Tyson. We had different things. We had this thing called a lot of ministry. We went out here and spoke to the homeless, gave food to them, and spoke with them, and got them out of situations where they were living on the street. People living in the highways. People live on top of vents. They sleep there because it's too cold outside. And that's the only place they got heat at. You know what I mean? So you don't. Know what somebody is going through. You can't specifically say that she isn't doing everything that she can. Yet she might she might be in that situation. Some people are blessed enough where she can be on Section Eight or whatever the situation may be. But some people aren't. They can't do that. They don't have the means to do it. They don't have the transportation. They they old enough. They can't walk. They they're unhealthy or whatever the reason may be. They don't. Everybody doesn't have the means. So I see somebody like that. Whoever is whoever is going to I'm in a better situation than anywhere. So I feel like I can help them out. Why not? Right. What's a dollar? He was talking. Let me finish real quick. I got, I got some stuff, man. He was saying, I was saying, what's a dollar, man? What's a dollar to me right now? I got it. You know what I'm saying? He was saying some, oh, she probably collected that with 305. She was sitting on top of the freeway all day. She probably collected a good amount of, amount of money. I said, that's great. Hopefully she won't be on the corner, corner next week because she racked up them funds like that. So that's a great job on her part. You know what I mean? Yeah. So don't try to flip it and just be saying, oh, man, she got $304 more dollars coming to her. What she need mine for? What's your situation? There's nothing. You can't sit here and try to judge somebody based off. I don't Man. agree with that. You know what I mean? And, and I said, if that's the case, the question is, why are we giving money to, to the needy in the first place? We're not talking about homeless or homeless in general. She was needy. You know what I'm saying? She was a single mom. She said all she needed was anything that anything that could help. If that's the and what we going off of, everybody's basing this off of. Oh, I don't know what they spending their money off of. I don't know if I want to do it. Then what are we giving the money? Are we giving money to the homeless? Are we giving money to other people like that? Like what are we doing? Are we tucking our money then? Or are we giving it to the homeless? <laughs> or no? Let me know. Okay, wait, really quick before Chris you interrupt. <laughs> all, all I have to say really quick is that, you know, if you have a problem with the situation, ask questions, A. And B, if like mom said earlier, if if you give and you feel good about yourself, great. If you don't, great. You know, no. it's just kind of a personal preference, I guess. There's right. no right or wrong. I feel you, but let, all right. But I mean, slide this to me on. So I feel like I mean I, I'm not taking I'm not disagreeing with nobody or what none of y'all saying. Both of y'all got points on both sides. But what I'm saying is, whatever situation she was in, we don't know because I mean y'all I mean yeah y'all didn't ask enough questions or whatever. But what I'm saying is. Yeah, A, A, A was right. It's it's endless options from when like it's endless things she could have did, you know, to you know to help her out the situation or whatever she was in. But what I'm saying is, I mean, sometimes people don't know. People just don't know all the options they got. So I mean, she might have been, you know, ignorant to what she could have done to help herself out that situation. You feel me? So I mean, it's <laughs> it, it's crazy though, man. But I mean, honestly. I only think this uh, this argument should be that heated. Man, it's yeah. like, yo, I mean, man. It is what it is. It's your dude. At, at the end of the day, bro. I can tell mom say it's a judgment call. At the end of the day, bro. Yeah. At the end of the day, man, it's your money. You're going to decide to do what, it, what you want to do. So whether, whether, you, whether you in the gutter, whether you wealthy, it's your money. You're going to decide to do what you want to do with it. Whether you got that dollar and you're going to go spend it on who knows so, you and uh, you're going to go spend it on the lotto and try to get big or who knows, man. It really don't matter, man. Whatever. Oh, oh silly wow. man! Look, we just gonna let's get the tension again. Oh, yeah, man. We are gonna go to a break real quick. Uh, ah. uh, hit these phone lines. All right, uh, guess not. What's happening? Birds and the bees. What's going on? Hi. Yo, what's hey. going on? Hi. What's up, Lena? Yeah, we hear you. Okay, I have a comment on the situation. Um, you can't judge someone off. I feel that you can't judge someone off their appearance. 
You gotta work your situation. You don't know what she has done so far to contribute to her kids' well being. Mm -hmm. And like you said before, you must be down to her saying that she has to beg for money. And like you said before, if you felt that her hunter boots or her coat no. made you not want to get money, you should inquire about it and ask about it. Like Your comments on her race, how she looked, what she might have had on. Maybe she got that, maybe she someone donated for her. Maybe she known somebody and they gave her those clothes. Maybe she saw everything else she had and that's the that left. Okay, so, so, Lavina, would you have given her the money, yes or no? Yeah, I would have. Okay, so I want to know. Can I have a question for you? <laughs> I don't even know about no more money. Actually, I also got a question. How much money would you have given her? I probably gave her $3. Maybe more. Depending on how much money I had on me. Okay, and uh, I got a question now. If, if I sat out there with the sign saying, have kids need help, would you give me money? Yeah, I give money every single person. Literally, when I see people running and putting cars, I'm giving that out. I mean, even if they're going to get you, you don't know what they're going to go through with it, but I have to see if they're going to do what they said they're going to do. Oh, uh, okay, I just was, you know, I just had a question, you know what I'm saying? If I, if I wore my $150 boots outside. <laughs> you know, if you had a problem, if I had a problem with you wearing those expensive boots, I would ask you, hey, um, you're wearing that, and you know, why aren't you trying those boots? Right, ask about it. Basically, long story short, okay, that, that's fine that they didn't. Long story short, questions should have been asked, and or if you give the money, cool, if you yeah. don't, great. Uh, okay, yeah, and, and the story. Hey, kind of hold on, hold on, he went the story. Yeah, I'm so, do, so when you, I'm sorry, I don't know if you've been downtown Cleveland. I'm assuming that you have. So, if you uh, when you walk through downtown Cleveland, do you inquire at every homeless person that you see before you, because you give everyone money, do you inquire to all of them about them before you give them money? Like, how do they get homeless there? What are they doing with the money? Do you inquire with them, or do you just give them money? Business. It's not your business now. Now, now it's none of your business. Okay. All right. That's why they're homeless because they're trying to provide for themselves and give themselves a better life. Yeah, yeah, I know, I understand. I just you didn't inquire about them because it wasn't your business. But why the girl had a hundred boots would have made you inquire. That doesn't make sense. Huh? Why the hundred boots bother you? Why did it bother you? You just said that you would inquire about it. She said if you're she said, if it bothered her, she would have asked. Oh, so, okay, so I heard That's what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. If it did bother me, I would ask, but it doesn't. So y'all just want that hot about it. Y'all just want that hot about it. I think honestly it was more no offense to Sasha, but it was more nope. to get you on Snapchat. They didn't care about anything. They didn't Snapchat. care, but it was a joke. It was a guys, man. Right. It was a joke. Right. But it, listen, listen, so it, up as, it was to get Rainbow Snapchat. We all had different views about it. It's not our money, so it really doesn't matter. Let's go on to the next. No, topic. it's not. It's not the next topic, bro. It's not over. Listen, now, everybody's not over. It's, it's a joke, joke man. <laughs> It's not, everybody's trying to throw it, it's not like it's a game, and everybody's saying, oh, with all your video, can I get $50 for my photo? No, bro, you're not going to do that. Somebody's going to do that. Somebody's going to do that. Listen to me. Somebody's at the lowest point when they actually go out on the street and beg for some money from somebody. Somebody is really going through some struggle. And if I'm in a position where I can help that person out, I'm going to do it because I... I I'm not on tough times right now, okay. and okay. I can see. Okay, now we're over. I know, I know, I know a guy who was uh, about my age. Not he, he went outside there. with ripped jeans <laughs> and, and 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 some some dumb boots, and he uh, stepped outside on the corner, and he told me he made about sixty five dollars. Would you you gave him money too? He's a terrible person. He's a terrible. I'm person. not out here judging. Yeah. I'm not out here judging. 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 Y'all just uh, y'all just, just assuming that this lady was at her lowest point. Everybody's on Y'all assuming that this lady's at her lowest point. What do we need to do with a person that's at it? Like you said. Well, everybody's mother it was I mean, you guys say, Oh, my mom was single and she had kids. Well she didn't go on the street. Well of course because she wasn't well, breaking, she wasn't breaking down on that point. Then let me ask you this. Then let me then, then let me add how do you she, she let me add, we're, gonna make, we're gonna make this real personal. Can you see your mother going out there and go bed for some money? You ready? 
Because we saw our moms didn't do it. Because you see your mother do it. Because yeah. clearly your mother didn't have opportunity because of the fact that I, she's going to do what she got to do. But, 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 Avery, but she go, oh, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. But, but no. But, know, but listen. But you're listen, 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 stronger than that. I mean, it's, it's not about. It's not trying to protect me. That's what she said. He said no. Hey, 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 hey. I said no. Bro, screaming. I asked him. He said, did you say yes or no, Randy? Why? He said no. He said no. He said no. He said no. What's your point for that? What you asking my, my, my point for that is, bro, because you said our mothers didn't do it. So right. I'm asking, I'm going to take it personal. I was going to go around and ask everybody else, can you guys actually see your mother doing that? Can you can y'all actually see your mother doing that? Then, then I was going to flip it and I was going to ask you, if she had nothing else, do you think she would be out there begging? That's what I was asking, because I'm trying to make it reality in here. I'm trying to make it reality for everybody else, because at this point, it's not a reality. We all understand it. And that's the thing, though, man. We it's not, not a reality, it's, it's I not reality another, for us. I asked There's you another question. I asked you another question. Can you answer it? What was it? If your mother was down to her last cent, and she had you and Levina, would she be out there begging? Just that's yes right. or no. And you got to do what you, you got to do. It's all about, it's, and you can beg and come to different forms, bro. It may not I'm be. Not it I'm, I'm not talking about I'm talking about your mom, period. I'm not talking about I'm asking a yes or no, bro. This is what I'm saying. But it comes in different forms. You can ask anybody for some money. I can be in church. I done seen people come in my church and be on off the street and come in there instead of asking the people to get to, to their tithes. The pastor would come, Steve. He would, he would come in there and a the person would approach him before church and he'd say, Yeah, man, I'm really dying. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he, at the end of the service, we had a collection plate for my man. Right. And, 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 and that's what we're Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Back in the country, number four, you can ask somebody for it. If you fall in on hard times, my mother uh, will ask for Seek help from the family or whatever. Like, she, yes, so she will. Okay. So, if you guys put it your phone aside okay. at a certain point. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. It's about. Okay. It comes in different forms. It comes in different forms. I understand. Right. Do you, when, so when everybody's watching TV and they see the little, the little Africans that they love to show so much with the little fat stomachs because they're sick from disease and all that. Does anybody take the time out of the day to individually call that phone line and give their money out? They give their credit card over and, and call out? Oh, is it yes? Hold on. Is hey, it man, yes or no? I don't know why that you call in and ask him, hey man, man, it was some food over there over there. Why my man's over there? It was some rice just over there. Why his mother over there? I'm asking, I just asked. Yo, I said, do y'all take the time out of the day to individually call the line or not? I'll still give you my answer. Mine won't change. No. Why don't you call? I don't do all the phone stuff, man. Hey, like hold on. Now let me now let me speak on that because I got a problem with with stuff like that though. Like the, the fact that Talk to me I mean the fact that America does that to show like you know everybody I mean, everybody's all America like, not America is so concerned with what goes on in Africa and you know just you know, I mean just so like so like concerned with poverty you know other countries but like they don't they never concerned about what's going on here like it's people that still homeless here it's people. When I was in New Orleans, it's a whole bridge of people. Just, just people just staying under the bridge, homeless. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, like, I like that. I got a personal problem with that because I believe that we should Take concern, right, right, Take fix ourselves, bro. Like we we should concern ourselves with what's going on here, right. not you know make everybody else a first priority. So we that's need not to, right, like we need to eliminate person, poverty yeah, here. We need to make sure all our kids educate. Like that's that's that. That irritates me when that happens, but I mean that's a whole other topic. So but my I just question, had to say that though. But my question was, he said it comes out in all different forms. Begging comes out in all different forms. It does. Okay. Charity is also a form of begging. If everybody else wants to sit up here and don't know about that, it's still a choice whether you want to give your money or not. It's still a choice when somebody else is asking you for your money. You're saying charity, like giving your money, is begging? No, I said charity is a form of begging. Charity is a form because of the fact that you're going to give your money to. Uh, what, what was the word Randy used earlier? A better cause. You're going to give your money to a better cause. Mm -hmm. So Randy felt that he took his money and gave it to her for a better cause. Charity, you're taking your money and giving it to them for a better cause. So why do you not do it for the Africans? I'll still tell you no to this day. But why do you not do it for the Africans? Randy said, well, I just you say, yeah, you. Okay, Randy, why do you not do it? And then I'll ask him that. So then I'll ask him deal, Then I'll tell you my reasons. I'm not with the over the phone stuff, man, because um, I feel like they have different organizations handling the money and some of the money might not always go to that, you know what I'm saying, to the to the person in need. Because you don't because you don't see them, right? Yeah, I don't see and them. And because you don't know if it's going to that person in need, really. Yeah, I don't I don't see them. Okay. Thanks, Randy. I'm, I'll, I'll get back to you in a minute. Come on, Jesse. What do you think about this? I mean, honestly, it, it it's both of like Chris and Randy's put together. Like I just I'd rather see them face to face. I'd rather ask be able to ask questions i'd rather fix the problems that we have here i mean i just watched a documentary in my communications class saying how basically all the grain that we give to cows is enough to feed 
everyone, at least in the in the United States. That's like what that, I'm saying, like bro. stuff I'm like about. that, like it it just kind of puts it in perspective. And I yes. and it really what really makes me upset is that we can't. I wish we could somehow find a way where like leftover food, whether it be from grocery stores, restaurants, or anything like that, could get put into better use, whether it's here or take it to other countries, whatever. I just That's what I'm saying. Like it's people in the water way. sleeping outside. There's people that it's kids right. in Georgia that's going to school and can't breathe. Like it's just this all this all stuff I know that I don't experience. And it, it's just a problem when America wanna be so focused on what it what's going on everywhere else. So we're not helping our own. So that's, I mean, too much of a superhero. Yeah. Like I said, right. basically for me, this conversation, this conversation has ended for me. Side Personally, it's, it's literally either you ask questions, you give or you don't give. Period, period, end of story. Like, right. it, there's there's no, like mom said, there's, it's a personal choice, really. Yes, it, right. You know, it's, there's no mm-hmm. right or wrong answer. If you want to give, cool. If you don't, I mean, whatever. Have you guys ever given? To what? To a person anyone, yeah, uh, any homeless person uh-huh. on the side of the street. Well, well what is the what, what is the situation? Uh, I, it's not even at the side of the street. Like I've been at a gas station, and somebody, is, oh man, what's up? You got some change? I reach in my pocket and give him all the clothes. Like no reason. No reason. What do you look like? He looked like he needed it. Somebody who, I mean, I, I feel like he was at the corner store about to buy some beer. Like, we should judge appearance. So he needed for some beer. He just helped him out. I don't know what he needed for it, but he, he said he needed beer. It looked like he needed. I feel like he looked like he was going to buy some beer, or some type of, some type of drinks or stuff. This is just one occasion. I've given it to I multiple know. people I, at the I, gas I, station, and I feel like they're not all going in there. Somebody's told me they're going to go get some chips or something to eat, and I, I feel like maybe they lied about it, but I still gave them the quarters because that's when you go and buy it for them. I'm saying like, if he was given a, uh, if you think he might have been going to get some beer? You don't think? His, you thought his reason was more valid than old girl's reason about trying to provide for it. I don't look at the validity of the reasons. The yeah, we might. I mean, literally we might as well just give anybody bread again. No, this conversation basically just needs to be ended. Literally, you give or you don't give. Period. End of story. It's literally, not, or you ask questions. It's I'm, not. It's not an end of story, and you're not going to ask questions. Let's just be totally honest. Why Nobody says something like these are complete Why are you strangers. Not? You don't know these people. You can't sit here and try to interrogate them. With all these questions, so, so, so can we at least, can we at least, if we not going to answer, answer, can we all say we not going to sit here and ask questions? Can we at least all sit here and agree on that? No, I can't. Now? I'm sorry, I cannot. I can't say that. I'm talking to him. Can I'm we not agree on that? I'm not going really. to send him, drill him question after question in, a, in an interrogation fashion. You just not. No, 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 no. That doesn't sound like you're not going to be interrogated. Like, no, I'm not going to say you're not going to be like, no, 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 then the question, then we have to ask questions to figure out, all right, what are your, what are your true motives behind trying to be high guy? What you, what you, what you just saying, I'm not going to be, I'm, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm telling you, I'm, I don't have a problem with your money. To your, based off appearances and all this other stuff, hey, it wasn't enough. Hey, so at some way. point, it, it, it was just overweight. I'm not going to ask questions. I just got to look at her on top and if she looked like she needs some help, I'm going to help her. That's what it is. I'm yes. asking you. For me, I feel like if so I look at it's basically you, it's appearance. If, if they look, it's so, like I'm going to judge this book as soon as I see it. Right, yes. so that, yep. that's where judgment comes in play. They could look the part, but definitely at the end of the day not play the part. I've, never, I mean? I've never seen someone in a suit and tie for a dollar. So, yeah. Hey, where you go? Are you judging that book? No, no, no. See, let's, okay. off. let's go back. Let's ask a question that you asked us over here because... Clearly, we're the only two on the fence right here. Yeah. They asked, you asked You're me not Kendall, on the fence. You asked, you asked me and Kendall, have we ever given anything? Yeah. Anybody that knows me knows I'll give my last if I know you need it. I gave, like I said before, I gave I gave my cousin 20 bucks when he's about to have his baby because he didn't have a crib. He didn't have anything. How would you know they need it if you don't ask questions? I didn't ask questions. I could look and see with my eyes. They didn't have anything. They literally you didn't have that. How do I know that? Because I've been in the house. I see that they don't have anything. Don't it's have nothing ready for the baby. It's off an appearance. Is that all you need for a baby? A house? I'm saying you said they don't have anything. They didn't have anything for a baby. There's a difference between laying something for an adult and saying, man, you can't sit up here and say tomorrow give it money to everybody who needs it, and then you don't have to go out and buy stuff for time to see the same babies. You don't ask questions. How do you know somebody yeah. needs it? You can't go based off appearances all the time. And if you and really, really, and if you really, really, and if you really want to get down to it. My cousin was the reason why he had stuff for his baby because of the fact that I gave him that money and the fact that I told him to go sell his stuff. That's dope. 
did a total of those seven stuff. And there was no questions asked. It just, you got an Xbox One, you got all these games, you got baby coming, you still out here begging for money. Go, go sell that stuff. You got to do what it needs to be done for your child. And so, long story short, I gave my money. Again, that's a, and again, talking about this earlier too, that's a family member. But again, a whole different story when this is yeah, tragic. I but again, wait, okay, now, now, let me, now let me get back to what I was going to say. Again, for somebody to sit up here and say it's not about the parents, it's always about the parents. Because yeah. of the fact that, because of the fact that they was out here, at, just like what Kim Hill said, they was out here in the business suit right now, I know for a doubt, you, I know for a fact you wouldn't have gave him nothing. Because of the fact that if it was me, you, 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 you said you wouldn't even give me nothing. These are suits begging on the street right. with a sign. Exactly. Exactly. That's an, it's about appearance. Because right. you know, it's, it's only about, it's only about, about the reason why. Because those people right there are at their lowest point. To a point where they're stripped of nothing. But you don't know. But like you said, get a job hey. Because like you said before, you it takes a lot of time to bury man. I'm taking. I'm taking your words. You don't know. So what if that's his last closing? That's a chance I'm taking. That's a chance I'm taking, bro. Okay. But look, don't even say you're wrong. If that's the hey, but I mean, back to the parents, man. We all done seen pursuit of happiness. The dude Chris Gardner wore a suit tie. I mean, he wore a suit tie. Yeah, that literally. And Lord knows he needs to be so that's what I'm saying. Like you never, you know, like the parents, they you you never know. So, I mean, just like, did they know in the movie? So I said, first of all, it's always going to be about appearance, regardless. Right. But we was looked upon as we were wrong. When I mean, we no, it's, it's, I mean, it's human. That's human in the wishing of one to like think you seek suits, you think money. Like I, just, I mean, that's I just, I just need everybody. That's everybody 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 that. Yeah, I'm saying like. Chris Jones say when he says all about honesty, I need everybody to be honest with this first. Yeah, it ain't fair to be real. So <laughs> need everybody to be honest with this first, man. I, I really need everybody to be honest with so first because of the fact that it's always about the parents first. This world is always about the parents first. Regardless if they're begging for money I or they're sitting up here, regardless if they're or if they trying to sit up here and shoot a jump shot. You try you try to pick somebody for a pickup game and they and they look wrong, you won't pick them. This this world is always about the parents. Or whether you're gonna get picked for a job. Or whether you're gonna get picked to do this or picked to do that. It's always about the parents first when you first meet somebody. It's called first impressions. Yeah, right. let, let me go and get back on this. But uh then again, uh you said uh, if you see somebody with a suit, you wouldn't give them money or blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he didn't you, say that. You did say you, you, did say you won't give them money. What I said was, you said that you don't need people yeah, in he, suits he didn't and say ties. Then I asked you, then I, said, then I said yes or no, would you give them money? You said no. I and, I said, and I said, well, then, but I'm like, but then, oh, I, you I, I, I said, if you ever your own friend, that's on me. But I did not say that. So you so you're going to give somebody in the suit. But he said that'd be on him. For that reason, yes, they're going to have to explain the reason to me. Why they, they have a suit and tie? What's going on? Just get out of a job interview. Is that the only clothes that you have? Shit like that. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. sorry. She's out of here. Sorry. Wow. Man. Shut him up, man. Sorry. You know that that's ridiculous. But uh, sorry, yo, okay. Well, you know, well, I guess <laughs> since Randy would give the guy some suit, uh, some money, then I, I, I no, I don't have any questioning because I thought I heard you say no. Nah. Now that you change your opinion, then okay. Speaking of suit and ties, man, we got something. Move mm on -hmm. to this music real quick. We want y'all to call in on this topic 419 448 2200 and make sure you know what's going on if you see the person that's the name of this song. Now, stripping is about the job, by the way. But what do you mean? You can actually make more money than a lot you of did people. Taxes, you did offer, right. stripping, and no, 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 no. Like everybody, everybody ain't built for that. Everybody don't want to. Strip because that's a demeaning job. Yeah, you know, yeah. Well, like, I so, know, but I'm just saying. Yeah. If you're stripping in Atlanta, you're yeah, stripping yeah, more than right. right. But, but, but then I still, I still, yeah. I still give Randy some demeaning job. But going to with what you're saying. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. I just want Randy to tell me why he'd rather her beg on that street than uh, to strip for her money. If she, if she I truly so money, if she had so money, so don't get on my back too much, but. I don't know, man. It's just like I said, other people. Not everybody wants to be a stripper. Not everybody wants that lifestyle. You but feel as if she wants to be a beggar. No. All right, so, so that's, that's, an option, that's, that's an option that she's willing to take rather than, than stripping. She might be too bad to strip to actually get that job. Really. It's an option that she's no, willing to take. No, we say it. No, we say it. If she if she, she had, had the option. Ask for help. If she, oh, like if, if she's she, actually good. If, if she had the job opportunity right now, she said no. Because that's a demeaning job, I'd rather go back. She would rather ask for it. She would rather ask for help from people. You know what I'm saying? I, Try I, to have people have people to have some kindness in their heart. Then I heard it, you know what I'm saying? Well, you see it, we saw the body, you see everything. Person, she has a job on the table right now. Everything said she good with that. Yeah, I'm sure. Alright, if you're in that situation, would you rather strip under or would you beg on the street? Why you beg? It's not about fitting the job. Yeah, yeah, would you pull the magic mic? She wouldn't even answer the question. Would you Would you strip or would you beg on the street? Excuse me. I know everybody's running away from the question. Would you strip or would you beg, Randy? 
by myself, I'll probably strip. Oh, okay. now you so, but, so, but so let me say that. Let me do it. So I'm putting myself in a position where I don't got to be that point. Hopefully, I'm not in a position. We're not talking about. We're not. We both. We're not. The last thing I would do. We're not. We're not talking about. Law action was which one would he do? We're not talking about. Go ahead and elaborate on it. You know because of the fact that because of the fact that you said that. Okay, well, if she had the opportunity to strip, then not everybody wants to, bro. Not everybody. Because wants you said you, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Because you said, finish. Finish. Let me finish. Cause you said you'd rather have her on the streets begging than to go strip. That's a very home. Oh, that's a very lucrative job. They do have Kate Diamonds down there on Lee Road, and it smacks very hard. There's lots of money being thrown around in there. If she has the opportunity or any strip club to strip it off here, Janessa's a female. She just said that hey, that's a lot of money to be <laughs> made. And on top of all that, we we all established when it comes down to the kids. I'm gonna say what I've been saying all day. You're gonna do what you gotta do. But Randy, you know, so she, why would you want, why so would you strip and you would not her, want her to strip? I don't know. I don't know. It's on her. You know what I'm saying? It's her decision. We asked you, how would you, what would you when want? We talked about it. We, we talked in a, in, a, in, a, in a girlfriend perspective. You're your significant other. And it was a long time ago. Yeah, we this, about is not, this is not, this is not, I don't know what he's talking about. I mean, you said you would rather her strip, but you would rather go strip. And she Why? Why is it different? She doesn't want to. Then yes, go ahead and do what you got. No, that's not. You put your opinion into it. No, no, no. Then you got. I don't know. Let me ask some. Because strippers are cool. Let me ask some. 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 Let yeah. All, All right, right. so she don't have a job while she's begging. No, All she's, right. she's that, looking into. Like, she's begging. She doesn't have anything. She. I mean, she, she still could. I mean, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. But, yeah. No, we're just we're saying, saying that our, our situation. We're saying that to provide for her kids when she goes strip. Yeah, I'll but, but he rather. Would he? Would he, rather he allow her to strip? When he right. said no, he would rather have a beg on the streets. But what I'm so, but what I'm saying is, is when it, when they come out to your kids, I mean, if that's the question, then I mean, that's that's that point, it's just a job or no job. That's that's what that is. No, it's not because that is a job. No, 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 no. no, no, no. It, it is a job. It is, but we're talking. But, but we're job. not. But we're not talking about that. We're, we're talking, talking about talking about that. People who are talking about jobs. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about something totally different. We offer all that hypothetical stuff. We're talking about another hypothetical, another hypothetical situation. So whether she had the opportunity to go strip, why would you say that you'd rather have her begging? Then you say it because it's still a demeaning job. Then my rebuttal was, and Kendall's rebuttal is. When you have kids, your own opinion of how you feel about stuff to get money to provide for them is out the window. Because now, once those kids came to those earth, they're, they're your responsibility. You have to do what you have and to do. That's going back to, to, to the provide argument them. of stripping in the first place, which to me was, there's no last option. That's not, that's not your last option for me. Do you feel like begging is the last option? I feel like that's the last option. It is. Yeah. So you just said there's no last option. Not he no, said stripping is not the last option. Is not the last option. Okay, okay. Stripping isn't the last so option. So stripping isn't the last option. No. Megan is. Yeah, man. And you you down to your last, man. Like It takes a lot of pride to do that, man. You put all your, you set aside all your pride and to sit here and beg on the corner, man. Ask the people looking at you all strange, man. People talking about you on shows. It's just not people good. On snaps, snaps people on Snapchat. People throwing you on the snap laughing at you. It's just not a good scene. Am I right, guys? No. People don't laugh at strippers. What? I'm, I'm not talking about strippers. No, I'm talking about begging. He's talking oh. about begging. I'm talking about panhandlers. It's just a rough life, isn't it, guys? I don't know. No, nobody laughed. I man. haven't been there. Nobody laughed at him. Yeah, he, he got crying and he's on the snap, and nobody was laughing. No, no, I was laughing. No, I was laughing. Sorry, baby. I was laughing at her for messing you out your money. That's what I was laughing. Nobody not laughing at her. I'm not laughing. I hope so. I'm not laughing at her. My That's whole my whole thing was the whole time was I'm not laughing at her. I'm giving suggestions of what she could have done and reasons to why I didn't give her my money. That's what I'm saying. And when he's on break, don't act like we didn't sit up here and give you a scenario as to when we would give her our, our money. Did we I, not say I, that? You got, they got a lot of life story on that side for you. I heard you the first time. Really yeah, detail, because there has been detail, detail signs. Because you're not going to ask no questions. And that's not, and that's not the only reason. Then that's not the only situation we said. And we said if she was out there with those two kids that she said that she, she was trying to take care of, then maybe we would give her money. She said she had two kids. Now, I feel like if you're not outside with those two kids standing in the cold with you, then you're not homeless, or you they have somewhere to go, which means that you have somewhere to go, or you can you can do something. To, I mean, you can put them somewhere as to where you can come back to them. You know what I'm saying? So she has somewhere to go, basically. If her kids have somewhere to go, she has somewhere to go. I'm not changing the subject. 
I was telling Chris though, what if what if pastors uh launching them? You know, you never know. But um, no, I like I told you guys. I think it's the pastor can watch her. Let's talk about let's talk about oh, yeah, let's talk about the thing that we said always on black because we had some very good points. Well, I was because, getting ready to tell my point. Okay. Then, well, I was just gonna say how when Kendall yeah, was saying like because she was white, she was more likely to get a job or whatever, and I said how I disagree with that because the fact that my mom <laughs> is. Uh, about to be turning 40 in a couple weeks. Happy birthday, Mom. Um, white, Caucasian, and had a page front to back, almost basically two pages, more than two pages, of jobs that she applied to, ranging from Walmart, Planet Fitness, McDonald's, But we ain't talking Chipotle. about your mom. Everybody ain't built like your mom. <laughs> I'm saying in comparison to you saying how white no, people know, are going to drive better. Say. I'm saying, I, like I know, you're that. being difficult. I understand. But how... I just want to <laughs> just keep it the way Randy wanted to argue. I know. Her. I know. Her point, B. No, point? but but just because like she like and there was even people in my family who thought that she wasn't trying and like she was basically all arms up in the air, didn't know what else to do. You know, I, I was even helping her like the best that I could too. That's while, crazy. huh? That's crazy. I mean, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, it just because she was white or anything like that doesn't mean that she would be more likely to get a job. I'm sure if you yes, both, does. But here's no, what, because okay, not really, necessarily. Really I'm time saying she was unemployed for six that. months, so you can't just base it all upon race. When we don't have no time to even get on. That's a whole different subject. But what, but what me and Kendall were saying was, and we offered a scenario, and because it was because it was an actual real scenario, and she can really do this right now. They have over interviews at. Wendy's, McDonald's, Taco Bell, places on yes, places, places on that strip where but she was at. Hold on. Now what I'm saying is they do hire because we 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 speak over because we did work in these places. Oh, and how people I know who walked in and got an over interview mm -hmm. and, and started working. That's how I got. Okay. Saying is from what from what she was wearing and how she was presenting herself. She could have got a she job. She could have got a job. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Well, okay. I understand. I understand. Down the street. We don't know that she didn't have a job. So stop saying that. Okay. My next you thing is, she didn't have is a job. Uh, she adding did. to the scenario. It depends on where you are located as well, because I guarantee you it is more easier to get a job in Cleveland, Ohio, than it is broke dirty 330 Canton, Ohio right but I'm saying that dirty but she wasn't just yeah. but she wasn't Child just oh, she wasn't just a, <laughs> she wasn't just in Cleveland she was a she was in Bedford though so that's what I'm saying though she was she a, was near the Cleveland area no so Cleveland she was in Cleveland you're hop on 480 I'm from a suburb of Cleveland you know okay I'm suburb, of, suburb okay. of Cleveland okay suburb of Cleveland no I I can't say that I'm suburb a Cleveland. suburb that's why everybody knows a like, suburb of Cleveland Okay, that's, a big major city. that's a big major Where's city that, that you can get city. a job in. You don't have to be just in Bedford to get a city. Okay, you're talking about the whole city itself. Okay. You, I, okay, I guess I'm not as familiar in, with Cleveland as I do. I'm asking her a question. I, I, I understand. I'm saying I guess I'm, I'm not as familiar with Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland as you guys. Just just so matter. when you I think of like Bedford or Maple Heights or anything like that, I think of Cleveland instantly. So, okay, thank you. But now I understand you. Thank so you. that's what I'm saying. It's, it depends but on location when you I add it. I'm ringing my ear and I'm getting it. I know, I know. Shout out. So, 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 so back to this again. <laughs> I want to. I want to hear Randy. So with those situations and with those circumstances that we that we talked about, because she had not easily walked in and got a job. Because I know you know people that got over interview jobs like that. Me. We're not saying she didn't have a job. We're not saying none of that. But we saying yeah, she could have. Oh, the circumstances we was talking about on break because she had went ahead and done. She it could have been it. it she could have, but it's tough too. You know what I'm saying you, you just talked about Kendall. He he got his job through something like that. When you're looking at somebody who who's in a tough predicament as he is out here begging on the street and probably doesn't have all the, the tools necessary to get what she needs to get done, and you're looking at a, a high school student who has transportation and everything that right in front of you. you know we don't saying? know she doesn't have transportation. We don't know because she, she was there. We didn't ask questions. <laughs> all right, yeah, but uh, yeah, like I said, uh. Well, even you, you say but who's going to get hired, Kendall or or that woman on the street? Her. But they don't know. But they don't know because she's white. But they don't know that she's on the street, yeah. bro. She's white. Are they you saying this on the show right now? She's getting that job because of, over you because she's white strictly. Yes. You're no. Idiot. Okay. Now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, that's that's, 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 that's sorry. That's ignorant to say. You're, that, you're an idiot. Back you're just it. as bad as the other on the other side of the fence where you know just because I don't even know, but. It just it, that just sounds that's like that's not even what that's not what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm just saying that. That's back how you feel. That's how you feel. Back to what I was saying. I'm, I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that she hasn't exhausted all options yet. Because I know for a fact she can go. And Mandy was saying even if she has a job, and even if she does have a job, she really didn't need my dollar because I also have a daughter and I have no job. So I guess I need my. That's daughter. Why I was asking as much as she you said that. that. I just thought that was the question I was asking. you. With the job, are they still are they are you still giving them money? Are, are you giving them? She money? doesn't get my money. Yeah, why the bank? 
with the job. People beg with jobs. Yeah. It she happens. Can't, she can't can't ask my help. I need help. So that's where you saw that. You compared it to yourself and you said no. I compared it to myself. If she has a job and I don't, why does she need money? That's all I wanted to hear. All right. Yep. That's I guess that's all I had to say about that situation. Well, you know, we're gonna have to wrap it up. It's you know getting yeah, late. It's a crazy show, man. Wow, Everybody. Man. Another All I know is it comes down to the fact of this. Kendall no, me no, Juice no, Randy yes, Janessa she doesn't know. Yeah, she's clueless. Oh, no, I didn't say that. No, no, no. I forgot. I said, okay. yes or no. I said if she has a hundred people on, like you around. said, no. She did, it's not. It's so not good judging her by her. Okay. No, I heard that's all you said. No, I didn't. I said if I, like Randy said, if I was so pressed about it, I would, I would have asked questions. Yeah, but I said, right. yes, yeah, unfortunately, yes. Yeah, I agree with you guys when you were talking about appearance. I said yes. Unfortunately, we do judge by appearance. That's not the question I asked. What's the question? I just asked you, is it yes or no? I don't, I don't care about nothing else. Yes, she has 100 books to ask your question. Is yes, it yes, she has 100 books to no. I already, you already said that. I said that the first oh, time. No, 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 no. I said that the first time. When you asked that, that it, later, two hours ago, I said no. That's fine. So, so, so you yeah. do everything else, but you still do it again. Yes, yes or no? Uh, yeah, no. If she has 100 so books, on, no. Unfortunately, we don't judge by the parents. Welcome to society. Even anybody sit up here and keep on tripping is just. We have a difference of opinion. Yeah. Randy, Randy's just agree to disagree. No. Yeah, or Randy's no. asking everybody else says no. You might sit up here and keep arguing about something crazy as that. Or no. Hey, thanks for listening. Thanks for calling me and moms. Wow. And um, uh, yeah, we appreciate it. You know what I'm saying. Thanks for listening too, mom. Yeah, thanks for listening up, y'all who listen. I seen a couple of favorites and stuff on my tweets or so whatnot. Yeah, thank you. Know, you I wish more people would have called in. I want to hear yeah. the, you know, I like to hear uh, I want to hear hombres. You know opinions about oh, things yes. like this you know what i'm saying but uh don't think i'm a bad person i have given money to people before <laughs> just off her appearance it just you feel like was a no-go you know what i'm saying yeah i, I can agree to that you're trying to get beer with you i mean we don't know you only play mm. i mean hey, hey, hey let's get up on yeah, it man play one of the outro i'm gonna hey that hey you know what i'm saying wednesday is way play wednesday make sure i have your bars for this he said that to make sure you heard that it's april fools so it's gonna oh, be a little wow. funny song. Man's cut. But hey man, hey play one of the drops so we can get up out of here. What's poppin'? It's Juice, Randy, Avery, and Kendall. Be sure to listen to our show, The Birds and the Bees. Live Mondays and Wednesday nights from 8 to 10 p.m. You know we talking about everything your mama left out. Now let's get back to these bangers we got for y'all right now on WHEI 88.9. Hey!